All right, so this is a video on market views. And this is the software suite that Cal is looking at using for uh, Leo Finance. And there's a couple of different ways that can be uh, used. So I'm gonna go over just one particular use case. And uh, basically it's about, well, well, let's just go through it. So I'm thinking about writing an article about the, uh, the potential Biden uh, changes to capital gains, because there's been some chatter about that about um, you know how uh, how that's going to change things uh, on Leo Finance. So uh, you know it's it's good content that I think needs to be written. So this is the research tab, and it you know I put in Biden capital gain. That's just kind of a general uh, search term, and it's going to go out to the to the interwebs and find. All, all sorts of stuff related to Biden capital gains. And it's going to come back with a report. It does take a few minutes, so I will pause right here. All right, and we're back. And uh, so this is stuff I came up with. Uh, so, you know, Biden capital gains, capital gains, tax, capital gains, tax, tax rate. And uh, it, here it's listing, you know, how many variations uh, there are of, of that particular term and the suggested distribution. So this is like how many times uh, you want to be, you know, bring these up in your article and uh, itemized deductions and income tax and Biden tax plan, capital asset, taxpayer, ordinary income, blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's all cool and everything. And then there are some, there's some things you can do here for um, uh, as far as integrating with the other tools but uh, no, I don't want to talk about payroll tax. I don't want to talk about estate tax, uh, long-term capital gains, tax proposal, tax plan, Biden plan, uh, Biden proposal. So you know, these are all just things that if, if things are related. So then I'm going to go into, uh, let's export that. Uh, save that spreadsheet. Okay. And I could go into compete. And it's talking about, um, you know, other people who are already ranking uh, Biden capital. There we go. Do some queries. Okay. So uh, it scores each piece of content that's ranking by a content score. And that is a proprietary whatever basically a higher number is better right and so the it's saying taxfoundation.org has a has an article that's really good uh it's scoring 68 uh here's another one from lexology.com scoring a 50 and the rest of these are a much lower wall street journal is, is has a crappy article that's ranking but because it's the wall street journal it ranks so um you know you can see here like what kind of topics are being hit by these various um, by these various articles, and you can see that the one that scores sixty eight is covering you know the the majority here. Uh, we can look at questions, and let's look at oops, Biden capital gains. So these are questions that you know you should answer. And I will pause this again. All right, so these are questions related to Biden capital gains. Uh, what is considered long-term capital gains? Does AGI include capital gains? What investments qualify? All that kind of stuff. So we can export that. And I mean, each one of these could be an article on itself. Um, and you can you can take this and run it in, uh, you know, these other tools. So let's skip to the the one that I use the most, which is optimize. So in Optimize, it brings up uh, it brings up the, the terms that we had before, okay? So now I can start to write content. And you can just, uh, you can pull content that you've already written and published, you know, by entering a URL here and it'll fetch that. You can write content in here, you can write in a separate editor and then paste in, you know, whatever. As long as the content ends up in this window at some point, you can then score the, uh, the uh, tab. So, uh, I could say, you know, uh, so I'll make a title. What is Biden's 
proposal for cap, if I can spell capital gains taxes. Okay. Uh, so it highlights Biden's proposal because it is one of these terms, right? So now I have, I'm in the recommended range for the, uh, for that particular term. So I'm going to start writing and I'm going to pause this while I write because, well, it'll be boring just to watch me write and I don't want to narrate it either. Okay, so I think, uh, I think the recording is back. All right, so I wrote this article um and i did it you know uh, out of my head this is a this is a topic that i am a subject matter expert on but with the guidance of this of you know this tool you know so i i know you know we already looked at the questions uh that that are being asked so i made sure to hit those and i made sure to do it in a way that uh you know hit all these these various topics so uh you know the average content score of the of the ranking pages for this particular uh, query was 28. And there was that one that was like 60 something and one that was 50. So there's giving me a target of 50. And that target is based on the existing uh, content strength of Leo Finance uh, wrapped into the actual article. So I wrote this article. Uh, it was rec it average word count of those of those uh, pages is 22,113. Target is 5,268. I didn't get anywhere near that. <laughs> I got 1,039. So uh, yeah, uh, my article is short in comparison, but it packs a punch because it's got a content score of 53. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's readable and I think it's, I think it's a good article. Um, so, uh, so that is kind of the story. So now I can take this and then I can I could post it and I can add images and, and links and whatever. I actually already have an image in here. Uh, but then I go over to Leo Finance and hopefully Hive is working. So we will see how uh, this whole thing goes. Do, do, do. Sign in, write. All right, so then I can copy for publishing that. Is that working? Copy, copy to clipboard, paste, no. All right, I'll just do control A, control V. Yeah, it doesn't look as good. <laughs> All right, so let's do uh, header, uh, no, header three. Uh, copy and paste for publishing would have been better, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, let's do that. that the right formatting? I don't know if you can hear my kids scream in the background. <laughs> All right. Okay, step up the basis. The elimination of step up base is just crazy, by the way. Uh, you should read my article and you'll find out all about it. It is a massive tax hike to the middle class. Okay, so here's my article. Let's make sure I didn't make it, miss any paragraph breaks. So yeah, so this is taxes, Biden, uh, capital gains. Uh, let's throw in economics there. And of course, I need my Palnet. All right, so, and then I hit publish, right? And that is how I use Market Muse. So we'll see if Cal goes for it or not, if enough people are interested. But that's that's the process that I use, and obviously, you know, there's there's a bunch of different tools, different, different applications. There's different uh, site-wide level uh, analysis uh, that goes on inside of Market Muse that tells you, it's like, okay, you know, you're 
your uh, website is strong in these areas so you can you can hit this this related uh topic that is you'll have a higher chance of ranking for but you know just just general general uh level um you know any topic you can put in through the research and compete and the and the optimize and everything so uh you know if if i wrote this and it came out that i only had a score of you know 27 then i'll have a bunch of missing stuff here and i'll say oh i need to add in uh you know these kind of terms and you know i've, I've done that in the past with articles uh, also tax related and I ended up, you know, writing, you know, like three new sections to an article that I thought I had covered, but it was not covered uh, in the way that the search engines uh, consider covered. So, you know, by by adding that in uh, as you go, it allows you to have a lot more depth and a lot more richness to your articles. So, uh, you know, it's not a it's not a it's not a done for you, uh, you know, content spinner. It's a it's a guided uh, implementation of you know, things you should be writing about if you're an expert and uh, on, on whatever the subject is. So, uh, you know, you can take that and then, you know, flesh out your expertise or become the expert and, and share your expertise uh, in doing so. So that's how I do it. Uh, and hopefully this will become a, an integral part of Leo Finance. I think it'll be a great thing for the the uh, the search weight of, of Leo Finance and ultimately the users because the more articles that rank in google the more users come and the more they you know a certain percentage of them join and become part of our community so that is the story <laughs>